Hey guys, um, it's been way, way too long, um, but uh, I've been out of town for work. Um, I just had a lot of just a lot of stuff going on. You know, I don't think I've done a video since the uh, since I finished the Mustang for the Mustang sixty group build, and uh, I haven't uh, haven't had a whole lot of bench time. Like I said, I had some out of town work trips and actually I'm going out of town again, uh, this coming week. So, um, that's continuing on. Hopefully this next one will be the, the last trip, uh, for, for work for a while. Um, and then, uh, I've just been, you know, dealing with some stuff around the house. Nothing serious. We had some storm damage we're getting taken care of and, uh, just, even when I'm in town work, it's just been crazy. Uh, so I apologize for the lack of anything. But um, uh, this is going to be a, sort of a little bit of everything video because I'm so far behind. I know I owe people I owe people shop cards. I will try to go back through my email and figure out who I told I would send. Uh, just uh, going out of town really is thrown off everything for me with my hobby and I'm just trying to get back on track um get some bench time I did get a couple things finished up which I'm going to show as well I'm going to get you guys flipped around here if you'll just bear with me for another second thank you um to all of you guys um anybody that watches this comes back and uh I've, I've Missed you guys. I haven't been able to watch many videos either. Just uh, a lot of my time watching YouTube is normally when I'm at the workbench. So uh, that's kind of a, you know, not having any bench time. I haven't watched a ton of videos and I apologize for that too. I'll try to hopefully be able to get back in the swing of things there as well. But uh, I'm going to turn you guys around. We're going to have a couple shop cards that uh, got sent to me back when I took my first out of town trip um, at the end of April. And uh, a couple of finals that have, one I just finished up and one I finished up about a month ago. But we'll get there. Uh, I'm going to flip you guys around. All right, guys. Um, this shop card and sticker for the Mustang 60 group build uh, came um, just as I was, well, just after I left... Um, to go out of town for work, uh, Mike sent this, and then uh, it came after I got, after I was gone. So I was out of state. This was in the mail, but I got it, of course, when I got back. And I've just been remiss about making a video because of everything that's been going on. And uh, but Mike uh, hosted the Mustang 60 group build, and he's got an awesome channel, anyways. Um, I'm gonna mount this. I think I'm gonna put this with the with my 67 that I built, sort of like a display. Uh, that was just a blast from start to finish. And I thank Mike for putting that on. Uh, I had some really great words on the back as well. Um, thank you, Mike. And then of course, uh, the uh, dream big, build small, uh, Corey, uh, great, great shop card there. Um, he's got an awesome channel and um, I got this one around the same time as I got the one from Mike. So these have just both been sitting for uh, for a, a good minute. And I apologize, guys. But thank you so much for sending the shop cards. I need to get you guys back, sent one back. And uh, hopefully just get caught up on everything. So first things first, I got a couple builds back here. I'm going to move this one. Uh, this was the Eggplane group build, um, which has, you know, it's been done. Uh, it's supposed to be done by April. This one, I, I, since I was out of town at the end of April, I didn't finish it until, oh, I don't know, sometime in May when I got back uh, from one of my work trips. I did finish it up. Uh, the, I used it sort of just play with weathering a little bit. I mean, it was a super fun build, obviously. Um, this one even has a little pilot guy in there. I painted him up. Um... 
got some cat hair on there, but that's typical. Yeah, I mean, just a really fun build. Um, nothing much to say about it. It's an eggplant. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Japanese uh, jet trainer that they use also for their, uh, this is the Blue Impulse uh, aerial, you know, um, demonstration team. Um, their their version of the Blue Angels, basically, you know, um, and uh, just a cool little eggplant. I mean, this is my first eggplant, and I had a blast with it. So I'll jump in again next year, and hopefully, even uh, get it done in a timely fashion. Um, but thanks, guys, for putting that on. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And then another Charlie Matt group build, just uh, got this one finished up as well. Of course, just in time, we have the D-Day anniversary group build. And I built this really great Italeri Jeep um, ambulance. Uh, this represents a Jeep ambulance that would have been on the beaches that day. Um, it's actually a D-Day boxing. Uh... I, try, I had it um, for a little while before the before I decided what I was going to build for the group build. So I'm just glad I had it. I just uh, weathered it up with some mud and some different colors of uh, greens and whatnot. Uh, really, this is a, an awesome kit. I would. It's actually my first kit in 35th scale. Um, really, t really tiny, but. Um, Super cool. Everything fits great. There's some nice detail. There's even engine detail. Um, I didn't really do. Hopefully nothing falls off. Uh, there's an engine. There's this underneath detail, and then there's actually an engine under the hood. Um, so you could detail it. I uh, just did some mud. You know, I figured Normandy would be pretty muddy and dirty. Uh, I think this would be cool. Maybe I've never tried to do it before, but I think it'd be really cool if I put it on a like a small vignette or a diorama, maybe with some figures, a driver. Um, I think it'd be really cool. So I don't know. I might try to do that at some point if I get the time. Uh, I it just it's a it's a great kit. Really fun. To, had a great time building it and. Uh, Thanks, Charlie, for putting on the uh, D-Day group build. I think it's a awesome group build and something we should all always remember, you know. Uh, thank you to anyone that happens to be a veteran that watches this. Uh, you know, my, my dad was in the Air Force, and uh, my, a lot of my family has been in the military. I was not, but uh, huge respect for everybody that has been and uh, huge respect for those guys that uh, went through D-Day. Um, but so a great group build and, uh, this is a great kit. As far as going forward, I have, uh, actually almost finished up the GT40, which you guys haven't seen an update on forever. So maybe I'll try to get an update video on that or maybe even a final, depending on how quick that goes. It's getting really close. It's coming along. And then, um... I don't know. We'll see what uh, what how much time I have and how everything goes. But I'm I'm still building. I'm tinkering, getting a little bit of bench time, very little bit here and there. Um, you know, I got off work early. I managed to finish this Jeep up with the last decals and weathering. And um, other than that, I have maybe 20 minutes here, or 45 minutes there, just. Not enough time in the day right now. But uh, thanks, guys, for if you've stuck with me. Uh, hopefully, I'll at least have a video every couple weeks or every month or something. I'm going to try not to go a month and a half or however long it's been now. Uh, it's too long. Um, I meant to. I just need to at least squeeze a video out there. I'll let you guys know what I'm working on and, and where I'm at. So. Hope everybody's doing well, and I'll try to catch up on some videos. Really appreciate all you guys, and uh, take care.